to the Indianica Quiz League, the multi-format, all-digital national school quiz league for classes six to eight. We've been looking at thousands and thousands of kids around the country, and we have identified the top 48 teams who are going to take part in this IQL contest. This week, we have a Delta North Zone semifinal, and three of these six teams are going to make it to the North Zone final. Let's go straight and meet our six teams today. Team number one is Pratap Public School from Karnal, and they're represented by Archit Singla and Vibhor. Uh, Archit, uh, how do you like it being here? First time in a digital quiz, online quiz? Yes, sir. So I'm very happy. It's like a very nice experience for me to play a quiz at home. Wonderful. You know, so many of us are having that experience, things that we never thought we'd do at home, we're doing. Vibhor, how do you relax? This is a very difficult time, you know, in this whole pandemic around us. How do you relax? What's the thing you enjoy most doing, Vibhor? Sir, I relax by doing meditation every morning and by listening to good music. Listening to good music, I think that's something that all of us can take a lesson from. All the best, Pratap Public School. Let's move on to school number two. And our second school Thank here you. today is Manastari Global School. Manastari is represented by Rinang Taneja and Anj Pandari. Rinang, I uh, come from a background of sport. What is your favorite sport? Do you have a favorite sport? Which one is your favorite sport? So, my favorite sport is Kabaddi. Wonderful. And is there a particular team you follow in Kabaddi? Yeah, so. Which team do you follow? So, Patna Pirates. The Patna Pirates. Wonderful to see a team from the North Zone. That's what national integration is all about. Rinang sitting out here in the North supports the Patna Pirates. All the very best, Rinang. Ansh, what about you? Do you have a favorite sport as well? Which is your favorite yes, sport? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Which is your sport? Uh, so, uh, cricket. And do you follow any particular cricket? Do you like the national team or the IPL? Is there anything that you have a favorite sport? The um, Delhi Capitals from IPL. Okay, of course. Delhi Capitals is a team very close to your heart. And uh, Delhi Capitals is a team that I have seen for a very, very long time in the IPL. And they've now become a very successful team. They reached the finals. All the very best. Let's go to team number three. Yes, and team number three is Modern DPS 87. And they are represented by Chinmay and Arnav. So what is your favorite past tense, Chinmay? What do you like doing? Sir, part-time, I like to gardening. Wonderful, wonderful. That is such a wonderful habit. It is such a beautiful thought. You like to garden and something being close to earth and being green in my That's kudos to you. That's a fantastic hobby to have. And I wish you all the best in your logi. What about you, Arnav? Do you, are you, what is your favorite pastime? Sir, I love reading novels, books. Is there any particular author that you like a lot? So I like Rick Riordan. I like J.K. Rowling. Wonderful. J.K. Rowling is somebody who has made so many of us happy and you'll be surprised and amazed to know that not only has she written for children, she has written some great detective novels for a lot of adults, which a lot of us enjoy as well, and using a different name. So that sometimes if you get a chance, go and have a look at those as well. So that was modern DPS 87, and we're going to meet our fourth school, which is also DPS. They're DPS International, and they're represented by Adwik Bhatt and Kritika Karol. Adwik, what is your favorite fast food? That means food not from home, but from the outside. Do you have a favorite? Uh, good morning, sir. My favorite food is pizzas, french fries, burgers. I like to eat them. I okay, also like Pizzas, to eat. french fries, and burgers. And do you have a particular flavor of pizza you like? Yeah, I like cheese burst. Cheese burst. Cheese burst pizza. Fantastic. I'm sorry at my age, I can no longer indulge in cheese burst pizzas without getting a lot of guilt. But you don't stop. Keep having as many of those as you want to. They'll come an age when you won't be able to. Till then, have fun. Kritika, I'm going to ask you not about fast food, but about food cooked at home. Either your mother or your father or help. What is your favorite home cooked food? Butter chicken. Butter chicken. What a perfect answer. In fact, you know, butter chicken, I believe, is also the most popular food for, you know, Indians around the world. Butter chicken is not just an Indian favorite. It has gone around the world and for very good reason. Kritika, I hope this quiz is just as tasty as that butter chicken that you enjoy so much. All the very best. We move on to team number five. Team number five up for us here today is Vandana International School, represented by Abhinav Jha and Akshita Panwar. Abhinav, so how have you spent your time during this lockdown? You know, how did you, you know, not meeting friends is so difficult. How did you manage? 
i used to play with my uh, sister and spending time with my family reading novel cooking also wow what did you cook tell me is there any dish you cook that you really proud of yes sir especially halwa i cook especially halwa wow i am going to come and try and taste that halwa of yours because it sounds absolutely delicious so you know there's an invitation pending for me out there and with you akshita akshita have you also been cooking and helping your father or mother cook at home yes i help in uh, chopping the some basic things but yes i don't know how to cook but i will be learning surely wonderful we have a lot cooking out here one the night national schools are not just great cuisines they are also sous chefs and cooks all the very best to them and that brings us to our final team here today and that's jm international school represented by steep thomas and ridhima singh steep want to ask you a question uh, do you have a favorite sport is there a sport that you enjoy the most good morning sir yeah so my favorite sport is cricket and you support any particular team yeah national teams India. Wonderful. And do you have a favorite in our national team? We are doing so well in Australia. We have just come back from that series. Do you have any favorite cricketer in the national team? Right now, I would say Rahane, Ajinkya Rahane. Rahane, of course. Rahane has done so much that it's wonderful to see a Test match player doing very well. Ridhima, welcome out here. I'm going to ask you about something else. Do you read a lot? Do you enjoy reading novels? Yes, sir. Is there any particular author that you really enjoy? Ruskin Bond. Ruskin Bond, wonderful, and that's a great answer out there. Ruskin Bond is somebody we are all very, very proud of as Indians. So that's six teams for you, and this six teams, as you notice, they are not just great teams in terms of the kind of quiz knowledge they have, because they are absolutely all of them are fantastic quizzers. Just to be here among thousands means that you are a really, really, really good quizzer. More than that, they are very, very diverse people. They garden, they cook, they help their mothers, they do other things. and that's so wonderful to see but today what we're going to see from them is their cooking knowledge and we'll go straight into four rounds we have four rounds before every round i'm going to let you know what the format of that round is and we start straight off with round number 1 here's what round number 1 looks like each team gets a thematic grid of letters teams get 45 seconds to pick the five correct answers words to be picked horizontally vertically they could even be diagonal and once in a while they'll overlap you get 5 points for every correct answer there's no negatives out here so this is a round in which you need to pile up the points remember one thing if you get all five right we even give you a bonus of 10 points so that's what it is lots of points at stake no negative marks this is where you build up your score in this particular round let's go straight to team number 1 it's pratap public school and your subject Four groups is animal groups. Let's have the letters. Your time to top public school starts now. Can you name the animal groups? Herd, herd, H-E-R-D. Herd, herd is the first herd. Pride, pride. Pride, going down. The band. Pride. Band. Band. Where the did you pack. see band? The pack. Band. The pack. The pack. Pack. Just one left. The gang. Gang. Gang is the last one. Fantastic. Pratap Public School have hit all five with 14 seconds to spare, and that means they get 25 plus a huge added bonus of 10 points. 35 points. Perfect start from Pratap Public School. Let's go straight to team number two and what their subject is. It's Manasthari Global School, and your subject for your grid, your words worth grid, is types of water bodies. Could we have the letters, please? Manasthari, your time starts now. Your canal. Canal, yes. Pond. Top left. Sorry. Pond. pond. You said pond. P O N D yes. pond. Yes. P. Sir, A B A Y B. Sir, brook. Brook, a small spring like thing. Brook, and you've got just one more to find. Lake, lake, lake. And coming lake. from top, lake. right from the top, going downwards is lake. 19 seconds. You've beaten their time. 
You've also got yourself 25 plus a grand extra 10 points minus study. Great start there from the first two teams. Slice of whatever it is, you completely cracked it, minus study. Let's go straight. So as you can make out, it's a very high scoring round. Let's see how our third team does in this round. Modern DPS 87, your subject matter today for the grid is Units named after scientists could be popular the grid, please, with letters. Modern DPS 87, your time starts now. Sir, Volt. Volt. V O L T. Volt. Sir, what? W A W T. What? Right at the bottom. Sir, Jewel. Jewel across the diagonal going through J O U L E. Jewel. Sir, Ohm. Ohm. Ohm is the unit of resistance. Ohm. Second row. And Sir, just one more go. Curie it is, C-U-R-I-E, Curie coming from the top and you've done your great, fantastic job, Modern DPS 87. You've also got yourself 35 points. So it's been really high scoring. All the teams have been totally on the ball. Let's go on, move on to our next team. Our next team is DPS International, another DPS and their subject is Means of Transport. Populate the grid, please. DPS your time sir, starts bus. now. Sir, bus. Bus. B U S. Bike. Bike. B I K E. Bike. Cycle. Tram. Tram. C Y C L E. Cycle. Tram. T A N. Tram. One left to go. Ferry, 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 ferry. Coming. Also coming down with Fran, FE, double R, Perry, and with 19 seconds to go, DPS International has also completed the grid. They get themselves 35 points as well. This has been an amazing performance. Our teams are so much on the ball. They're not letting anything go past their back. Fabulous scoring out here coming up for us. And let's have a look at what our next team is and what they can do with their grid. A lot of pressure on them now because you know, the teams are answering really well. Vandana Abhinav and Drakshita, your subject is... Countries, you've got to find all these countries in the grid and please populate yeah. it. Vandana International, your time starts now. Congo. C O N G O, Congo. Nice. Cuba. C U B A, Cuba. Chile. C H I L E, uh, diagonal. Mm. Diagonal, C H I L E, Chile. Two left to go. Mali M A L I Mali in Africa One left And remember oh, they can yeah. overlap a bit mm -hmm. One left 50 seconds It could be straight, it could be going top to bottom, it could be diagonal as well Bad luck, bad luck, Vandana. You got it so well. Just one you missed out on. The one you missed out on is F I J I C G. Can we populate Fiji, please? Fiji going down. That was the one you missed. 20 points for you. I'm so sorry. You missed out on that last one and therefore also missed out on your 10 point bonus. But 20 is a pretty decent score out here, Vandana International. Let's go on to our final team for this stretch. JM International School and your subject is Terms in Tennis. Terms in Tennis is the subject. Can we populate the grid, please? JM International, your time starts now. Is love. Is love. A -S -C -E -S -L -O -V -E, love. Set. Those two. Set. S-E-T, set. Two to go. Remember, it could be straight top to bottom, it could be diagonal, it could be anywhere. Deuce. Deuce, okay, that's correct. Deuce, correct. Coming from the diagonal, Deuce is correct. Just one left to go. Come on, just one left to go. It's an easy one.
sorry you just missed out on just one of them and the last one could we have please the last one is a very very simple one that we missed out on and that's courts you always need to have a court in tennis bad like this 20 points you it's a very very good performance as well but sometimes these things just slip up don't worry jm international and vandana there's lots of rounds to go there's three more rounds to go so early days yet so i wouldn't panic at all let's quickly have a look at the scores jm international is on 20 vandana international is also on 20 tps international modern bps 87 Manasari Global School and Pratap Public School are all on 35. For me and our team at Tree of Knowledge, the journey of our Know For Sure books began when years back, Encyclopedia Britannica approached us to develop a series of books to engage and excite students right from class 1 all the way up to class 8 on general knowledge. It was a coming together of our track record of successful knowledge shows in electronic media with the culture of Encyclopedia Britannica. In the last few years, as the publisher has changed identity and management, segueing into Indianica Learning, I'm pleased that the same commitment to development of content continues, with no effort or resources being spared in putting out the Know For Sure books as benchmarks of the best of content and quality which the reader would value. There's a constant dialogue about new age learning solutions to train and foster knowledgeable and capable minds. and i look forward to taking things forward with a no for sure legacy so the very very closely packed herd here not much to choose from between the teams let's go straight into our next round round number 2 direct fire is a round where teams get a chance to answer direct questions but they also get a chance to pick up a lot of bonuses two cycles of play each team gets a total of two assigned questions other teams can buzz at any point but remember and this is something you remember carefully the question only passes if the assigned team missed okay a question may pass up to 5 times till a correct answer is given if no team answers four choices will appear for all to buzz this two can pass once more 10 seconds for a direct and 10 points for a correct answer once on the buzzer of course it's plus 5 for correct answers and minus 5 for an incorrect answer ready to go Let's start with team number one, and team number one out here is Pratap Public School. Your question, your direct for ten points is: Which Asian country's ruler is also referred to as Druk Kyalpo, Dragon King? Your time starts now. The ruler is Thailand. The ruler is Thailand. The ruler. Yeah, maybe, maybe. The Thailand, Thailand, Thailand. Thailand is incorrect. It moves on the buzzer. Who's first on the buzzer? It's a lock, and we have Advik DPS International School is first in the buzzer. DPS, do you have an answer for us? So tambourine. Tambourine is not the answer. It's still on the buzzer. Is any other team on the buzzer? Abhinav of Vandana International School. Abhinav. Yes, sir. Vandana Bhutan. Sir, Bhutan. Bhutan is correct. You get yourself plus five. Unfortunately, DPS International, you got yourself minus five. But the answer is Bhutan. Of course, it is also known as the Dragon Kingdom, the Kingdom of Dragons. It's a wonderful, beautiful country, which is really, really interesting conservation. Interesting start out here. The first question has been missed. One team got a minus five on their attempt as well, but the third team managed to answer successfully. Question number two coming up, and let's see who's direct it is. It's Manav Sali Global School direct, and your question is as follows: Which prolific American inventor faced First patent was for an electric boat recorder. Manasari. Been taken a tenth. No negatives for you. No tenth, Manasari. It goes on the buzzer, and the first team to buzz in is Abhinav from Vandana International School. Abhinav, do you have an answer for plus or minus five? Yes, sir. Sir, Mr. Biden. Mr. Biden is incorrect. Minus five for you. Any other team buzzing in? Yes, Modern DPS 87 has buzzed in as well. Modern DPS, do you have an answer for me? Modern DPS. Yes, sir. How much? Modern DPS 87 gets it finally. It is Thomas Salva Edison, one of the most prolific inventors. He was known as the Wizard of Menlo Park, and that's the correct answer. One of the nice national. Bad luck. 
minus five points to you. I was unaware that you know the president to be of America was also an inventor, but perhaps there have been other inventors as presidents. In fact, Abraham Lincoln, the president, also has a patent to his name. Modern DPS, it's your direct question now, and let's see what we have. For you. Which hill station is said to have got its name from Manu, the lawgiver, and also has temples dedicated to the Rakshasas, Hirimba, and Ghatotkach? Look at the name carefully. No negative, so you can guess. No modern DPS 87. No answers from you. And the first team on the buzzer is. JM International School. JM, do you have an answer for me? Manali. Manali, you said plus five to you. Malali, of course. It is Manali. It's a 16th century temple. DPS International, your day coming up now. Which common island, best known for its beaches and rainforest, is shed by three countries Malaysia, Indonesia, and Brunei? Borneo. Borneo, you said. Borneo is correct. And you get yourself 10 big points. Borneo is the correct answer. It's a fascinating island and it's known for some of the most diverse wildlife in the world. Great answer there, DPS International. Borneo is correct. And that means you've got yourself a significant advantage in this town. On the name National School, your direct question is as follows. Which Indian Olympian's autobiography is titled A Shot at History, My Obsessive Journey to Olympic Court? Vandana. Pinab, do, do you have any idea? Take a guess, there are no negatives. And the first team on the buzzer was Modern DPS 87. Modern DPS, do you have an answer for me? Yes, sir. Milka Singh. Minus five to modern DPS. It's not Milka Singh and it opens again on the buzzer. Does any other team want to go on the buzzer? Yes, JM International has now pressed it. JM International, your chance to answer. Abhinav Bindra. Abhinav Bindra. Well done, JM International. Modern DPS, you went for a well-known opinion, but it wasn't the right one. And the final question of the first round of direct fire is to JM International School. And your question today is... Also known as Chinese gooseberry, which fruit shares its name with a flightless bird native to New Zealand? Yes, am I on? I think it is And JM International, I'll have to pass you. No answers from there. We've got somebody on the buzzer immediately. It's Pratap Public School on the buzzer. Pratap Public School, do you have an answer? I Sir, Kiwi. Kiwi is correct, we bowl. Well done. Achis is also excited. You've got yourself the correct answer. Five points to you. And that's the end of the first round of direct fire. What we are now going to do is we're going to do anti-clockwise, starting again with JM International School. But we're going to go in the other direction. And JM International School, your question, let's see if you have better luck with this one. This is your direct. And these are all questions based on visual clues. The first one coming up now. JM International. Identify this follower of Mahatma Gandhi who became the first woman to hold the office of the governor of India. Take a look at the picture and here's a larger picture for you to take a look at. Yes. Naidu. Steve said Sarojini Naidu. He didn't even have to wait for anything else. 10 points to them. Sarojini Naidu is a perfect answer out there. Game International, 10 points to you. And the next question coming up now. And Wonder International, it's your question. At which famous European landmark would you find this restaurant? It's a restaurant. Look at it carefully and we'll give you a bigger picture. Where would you find this Julie Bourne restaurant? At which famous place in Europe? It's a very famous landmark. Archit Singla, again from Pata Public School District. Archit, do you have an answer? In France. No, landmarks, specific landmarks. So France may be correct. I need an answer. What place is it? Should I know so the It's the France. France is not good enough. I'm afraid that's minus five to you. Any other team on the buzzer? Yes, we have. DPS International. Kritika has pressed the buzzer. Kritika, do you have an answer for me? Paris, France. Paris. 
Paris is not a landmark. I need like the oh, Taj Mahal. I will Eiffel Tower. I will accept that. Eiffel Tower in Paris is the answer I'm looking for. It's not just Paris. We asked for a landmark. It's the Eiffel Tower. So DPS, you got yourself plus five with that. And now it's time for your direct visual question on direct fire coming up now. Which radioactive element was named after the homeland of the Nobel Prize winner that you will just see? Take a look. Very, very famous person. Which element named after the home country of this person? Yes, you did. I'm afraid I haven't got an answer. And first on the buzzer is JM International School. JM International, do you have an answer? Curium. Curium, you said radioactive element is named after the homeland. Incorrect. Minus five for you. The buzzer opens up again. Yes, Adwik Bhatt of DPS International. Adwik. Sir, polonium. Polonium. Absolutely correct. Polonium from Poland because the homeland of Marie Curie was Poland. DPS International, that's a great answer there. Plus five for you. Modern DPS 87, your visual direct fire question coming up now. Which lake, famous for its shikaras, houses this floating post office? Take a look. It's a post office, but it's on water. Which famous lake is, would you find this floating post office? Sir, Dal Lake. Dal Lake. Dal Lake in Srinagar, that's what modern DPS 87 is answering, Arnav. And that's absolutely correct. 10 points for you. It is the Dal Lake. Good answer there, DPS 87. Okay, Manas Study Global School, your question coming up now. Identify this politician who leads the Liberal Party in his country. Okay, a larger picture. Who is this gentleman? Just name this very famous politician. Honestly, I haven't got an answer from you, so I'm looking at my buzzer, and the first team to buzz is JM International. Do you have an answer, Steve? Justin Trudeau. Justin Trudeau. Terrific answer. That is Justin Trudeau of Canada, of course, and that's a great answer. And did you know that his father, Pierre Trudeau, was also the Prime Minister of his country? Very interesting. He's the 23rd Prime Minister of Canada. His father was the 15th Prime Minister. Well done there, JM International School. That's a terrific and very classy answer. And that takes us to what I think is the last question of this round. And that direct goes to Pratap Public School. And Pratap Public School, your question coming up now. Identify the Sahitya Academy award-winning children's author. Who's that? Sir Raskin Bond. Raskin Bond. Yes, Pratap Public School, it is Ruskin Bond. Great answer. He's one of our finest novelists. He wrote A Room on the Roof. Wonderful to see that this gentleman, who's such a fine gentleman, is loved by so many of you. And at the end of two rounds, let's have a look at the scores. Wandana International Schools on 20. Manastari Global Schools on 35. It's really closely bunched up there. JM International Schools on 40. Modern DPS 87 at 45. Pratap Public School at 45. And DPS International School at 50. At this point in time, I can safely say any of these three teams can qualify. It's still wide open, which means it's a perfect time to introduce a round that has a lot of points and that makes a lot of difference. It's our round number three, and let's take a look at what it's all about. Round three is called Super Sixer. Each team gets a thematic grid of nine tiles. In 45 seconds, they pick six correct answers in consultation with their team members. Choices can be changed within the allotted time. As long as I can hear those choices being changed, five points for every correct answer, one incorrect answer takes you straight back to zero. But if you get all six correct, you get 10 bonus points. So you could end up with 40 points out here. You could end up with zero points. You could end up with something in between. So the first of the Super Sixers goes to JM International School. Let's see what your subject is, JM International School. Your subject is Google Brands. Six of the brands you see belong to Google, three belong to other companies. Let's have a look at the grid. JM International, your time starts now. Just name the Google brand. YouTube. YouTube. 
Chrome. Instagram. Chrome. Chrome. What's the third? Sorry. Instagram. You said Instagram. Nest. Nest. Pixel. WhatsApp. Pixel. WhatsApp. WhatsApp. Now you have a chance to change things if you made a mistake. You want to change? Only six of these are right. Three are wrong. So you want to change anything? No. And your time's over. So you tried all six. That means potentially, game international school, you could get forty points. How many you'd end up with? Let's find out. You started with YouTube. You started with YouTube, and let's have a look whether YouTube is correct or not. YouTube is correct, absolutely correct. Okay, next one coming up. You tried Pixel. Is Pixel correct? Pixel is correct as well. What's the third choice coming up? You started and you went with Chrome. Chrome correct. Chrome is also correct. Fifteen points. The next one you tried was Nest. Twenty points. And after that, you tried Instagram. Bad luck there, James International. Instagram belongs to Facebook, and let's see who WhatsApp belongs to. WhatsApp was also incorrect. Let's look at the other correct choices out here. The correct choices were Android, obviously, which is a Google brand because you have Android Play Store, and way more. The three incorrect answers there were Instagram and WhatsApp, which belong to Facebook, and PlayStation, which belongs to Sony. Bad luck there, James International. So other teams, just be careful when you are going for your answers. If you are not confident, hold back, discuss, because they got four correct, but they still ended up with zero points. Okay, let's move to our next group. Okay, Vandana International, your grid coming up now. Let's see what your subject for this grid is. Six correct, three incorrect in this grid. Your subject is. Monuments built by the Mughals were in the Ninth National School. It's monuments built by the Mughals, and your nine grid items are as follows. There it is. Red the Ninth National, your time starts Red now. Red Fort Delhi. Red Fort Delhi. Red Fort Delhi. Taj Mahal. Taj Mahal. Bibi ka Makbara. Bibi ka Makbara. Abhinav, you know. Anyone? Remember, you I'm can choose not to. Sorry, repeat that, please. Uh, no, sir. I was talking to Abhinav. Okay. Three down, three to go. Shalimar Bagh, Srinagar. Shalimar Bagh, Srinagar. Just one to go. Uh... Two to go. Oh, sorry, one to go. Uh, no, two to go. Okay, so you answered four. You could get a possibly get twenty points depending on whether you got them all right or not. Let's have a look at your answers. You tried Red Fort Delhi. Is Red Fort Delhi correct or not? Red Fort Delhi is correct. Your next choice was Taj Mahal Delhi. Ta sorry, Taj Mahal. Is Taj Mahal correct? Of course, built by Shah Jahan. The third answer you gave was Bibi Ka Makbara in Aurangabad is correct. And the next one. And the fourth one coming up is Shalimar Bagh, Srinagar, and that's also correct. So you've got yourself 20 points. Okay, I'm going to play a little game with you. Abhinav, if you had tried, what would you have tried after this? Akshita, Abhinav, which one would you have tried? You've got yourself 20 uh, points. Jama Masjid. Jama Masjid. If you tried, you would have. Let's have a look. You would have got it correct. And our last correct answer would have been yes. You could have got five more points, Akshita. Yes. Or would you have tried your last one? Come on, you've got twenty. That's sealed. Uh, I would have selected Char Minar. You would have selected Char Minar, and it's a very, very good thing you didn't because let's see if Char Minar is correct or not. Char Minar is incorrect. Char Minar was of course built by the Kutub Shahi dynasty. So let's look at the other correct answers out here. Obviously, the only other correct answer on this grid is Bulan Darwaza, which is Nagra, which is a part of that entire complex. India Gate was built by the British, and Gold Gumbals was built by the Sultan of Bijapur. 
but well played on the night national school was smart enough to play this well so you got yourself 20 points coming out of this so well done 20 points to you let's see what our next team does with their grid gps international your grid is all about cartoon series of japanese origin and let's have a look at the series those are the nine gps international your time starts now six of these are japanese series waiting for you the doremon doremon dragon ball z dragon ball z naruto naruto the shinchan shinchan four down two to go you can quit at any point if you feel unsure i think Are you sure it's Dragon Ball Z? Okay, you just finished off. You got four answers in, and those answers were as follows. Let's follow them right from the top. Your first answer was Doraemon. Is that correct or not? Five points for Doraemon. Your next answer, I think, was Dragon Ball Z. Is Dragon Ball Z correct? It is ten points for you. Your next answer was Shin Chan. Shin Chan is also correct, and your fourth answer was Naruto. Fantastic, twenty points for you. So well done. Now, what would you have tried if I had given you this choice? Advik and Krithika, what would you have tried next? Uh, Kung Fu Panda. Sorry. Kung Fu Panda. I can't hear you. Kung Fu Panda. Kung Fu Panda. You would have tried. They would have tried Kung Fu Panda, and Kung Fu Panda would have been wrong. I'm so glad you just got saved, absolutely, because Kung Fu Panda is definitely it's anyway it's set in China, but it's definitely, definitely a big budget Hollywood production. And the other correct answers. Let's have a look at the other correct answers. The other correct answers, of course, were Pokemon and Beyblade. And Phineas and Ferb and Benton were also American publications. So well done there, DPS International. Sometimes it's good not to answer too many questions, and I think other teams will also be learning to be smart and you know let that ball go outside the off stump. Okay, our next team coming up now. Let's have a look at who our next team is. Our next team is Modern DPS eighty seven, and your subject today is viral diseases. Your grade coming up now. Your time starts now, modern DPS editor. Which of these six are white? Waiting on you. Smallpox. Repeat that. Smallpox. Smallpox was your first answer. Polio. Polio teams, you can discuss if you want to. AIDS. AIDS, you said AIDS. Tuberculosis. Tuberculosis is what your first try is. Remember, at any point you can change or not decide to change. Sorry, those are the four you got in. Those were the four that you got into your grid, and let's see what those look like. We'll start off with your first answer. Your first answer was smallpox. Is this correct? Smallpox. Next, you went with polio. Is polio correct? Tuberculosis was next, and tuberculosis is bacterial. So let's see the other correct answers. Could we have the remaining correct answers in the grid, please? That's what it looks like. Finally, cholera, diphtheria, and tuberculosis are bacterial diseases. The other correct answers would have been Zika fever, yellow fever, all. Smallpox, you already answered it, and of course measles. So those were the ones that you didn't get. Unfortunately, you go back straight to zero DPS eighty seven. Bad luck there. It was a tough one. Not too many know the difference between viral and bacterial diseases. It's time to go on to our next grid and our next team. And it's Manas Study Global School. And your subject out here is country capitals. All you have to do is. 
six of these are names of country capitals, three are not. Let's have a look at your grid. Your time starts now, Manasuri. Sure, Paris. 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 So sure, Istanbul. Istanbul, you tried. Keep talking to each other. You can always change answers. Guys, keep discussing because one wrong answer will take you to zero. Rome. Rome. Sorry. Rome. Rome. Are you sure, Rome? Yes, yes, Rome. Mm. Uh, so, Melbourne. 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 You said Melbourne. Budapest. Budapest. You I tried. guess it. Uh, That's time, Manastali. You tried five of them. You could get potentially twenty-five points. Or potentially zero points. Let's see how you went. You tried Paris. Paris is correct. It's the capital of obviously the capital of France. Budapest is the capital of Hungary. Rome is the capital of this year of Italy. Let's see what your first try was. Istanbul. Istanbul is not the capital of Turkey. The capital of Turkey is Ankara, and Melbourne is not correct either. The capital of Australia is actually Canberra. It's a much much smaller state. The other correct answers out there were obviously Abu Dhabi, Manila, and Stockholm. Munich is not the capital of Germany. The capital of Germany is obviously Berlin. There, no points to you. This one, you started off well, but somewhere, you know, you got mixed up, and you know, it happens. Let's move on to our final team. Pratap Public Schools. Your subject is as follows. We're going to show you musical instruments. Six of them are string instruments. Three are not. Choose the instruments which are string instruments. The time guitar. starts now. The guitar. Guitar. Huh? Guitar. Violin. Guitar. I heard guitar. I heard violin. And two is it? Archit. No, Shenai and uh, I think. No, no, not Shenai. Shenai is not. Yeah, I know Shenai is not. I think Sarangi. Yes, Sarangi maybe. Sarangi. Sarangi, I'm going for Sarangi. Three correct. Guitar is a string instrument. Yes, I think guitar also. Guitar. Okay, you've gone for guitar. Yes, I think four are enough. Atom, I don't know. Four, let's. Santur is. I think. Yes, Santur also. Santur. Santur. Well done, Pratap Public School. What I liked was, I think you were the team who were doing the maximum discussion. I think discussion is very important out here because you're talking to each other and you're getting each other's opinions. Let's see what the answers you gave were correct or not. You started with, you started with violin and guitar, violin, guitar, ikhtara, sarangi, and santur. Santur. All five correct. You got yourself twenty-five points. Not a single mistake. Okay, Archit and Vibhor. If you had to take a choice, for no points, you got yourself twenty-five points. Sir, If you had to take a choice, sir, saxophone. No, sir, Ghatam, Ghatam, Ghatam. So one says saxophone. Make okay, guys, make a decision. Saxophone no, or Ghatam? What would you? Or Ghatam. You would have chosen Ghatam, and if you had chosen Ghatam, let's see what happens. Wrong. Oh. Saxophone, sir. The is only other stringed instrument is the cello. Saxophone and Ghatam were both wrong, so I'm very glad you went for just five. But you played it well. You got yourself 25 good points, and you showed the importance of teamwork in this quiz. Sir, I didn't talk about cello. I didn't read about cello anywhere. Don't worry. You will hear about the cello, many other things in your life, and I'm sure yes. you'll do even better. But five points is very good. 25 points is Thank really you. good. Round is the best performance out here. And at the end of three stunning rounds, let's have a look at the scores. Manasuri International School is on 35. Jain International School is on 40. Bandana International School is on 40. Modern DPS is on 45. With the two teams leading at this point in time, DPS International on 70, as is Prata Public School. Remember, three teams go through, and the other three teams get an opportunity. Of course, they get prizes, but three teams go through to the North Zone final.
So anyone could win it from here. It's time for our final round, which carries a total of 60 points and could change everything. This round is known as the final countdown. Six direct question, open to all. Ten points for a correct answer, minus ten for an incorrect answer. Once assigned teams must answer instantly, and I'm going to stop the question the moment I see a buzz coming in. Question number one coming up for 10 points, 60 points at stake. All the best teams. Question number one, which 2020 film starring Deepika Padukone is about acid attack campaigner? I'm stopping here. Somebody's already buzzed. Rhythma from JM International. Rhythma. I need an answer. Chapak is correct. And you know who it's based on? Not necessary. It was based on the life of Lakshmi Agarwal, but you get yourself 10 points and that's 10 really valuable points for you. Question number two coming up for the team. And your question is, in which city were the Commonwealth Games held in 2010? And the first team to lock on to that is Manasari Global. Manasari, do you have an answer? So my, uh, should I tap it by mistake, Lee? No. I'm sorry, that's going to cost you five, uh, 10 points. It is a negative, whether you've hit it by mistake or not. And the next one, the buzzer is modern DPS 87. Modern DPS, Avi, do you have but an answer? Delhi? Delhi? Delhi is correct. Modern DPS, that is the correct answer, but that's not for points because only one team can hit the buzzer. Question number three coming up, and this is a crucial question. Still 40 points at stake. What is the tallest grass? on earth. Which is the tallest grass on earth? And Chinmay has hit from modern DPS 87. Do you have an answer? Bamboo. Bamboo is correct. Plus 10 to you, Chinmay. Bamboo is correct. 10 points to you. Question number four coming up. How many chromosomes per cell do human beings have? How many chromosomes per cell do human beings have? And it's Akshita of Vandana International who's buzzed in first. Akshita, yes, sir. Yes, now... 12 pairs, 24 chromosomes. 12 and 24 is not correct. Minus 10, the answer is you have 23 pairs and 46 chromosomes. Minus 10 for you, Vandana School. Just two questions to go. And the next one coming up now, it's a crucial one because a lot of teams are bunched up in second place, in third place, and only three teams qualify. Here's your question. Representing Amiti in the Lok Sabha, who is the current Minister for Women and Child Development in the Indian government? And it's Manasari Global School who's buzzed again. Manasari, do you have an answer? So, uh, Miss uh, 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 Nirmala. Miss Nirmala, it's not Nirmala Sitaraman. Minus 10 for you. The answer we have is Mriti Arani, of course, she was also a very, very famous television star too, a long time back. And now she is the Union Minister for Women and Child Development. The last question coming up and what can happen? JM International School can go into second place potentially. They answer this. If not, modern DPS survives. Here's your question coming up now. In religion, which major religion would you come across? The Digambara and the Swetambara sect. Digambara and Pratap, and Pratap Public School had buzzed first. Pratap, do you have an answer? Sir, sir Jainism. Jainism is correct. Pratap Public School get themselves 10 more points, and that ensures that they are unchallenged first. So we've had a frenetic round of quizzing. Let's have one last look at the scores. In sixth position, we have Manasthari Global School, New Delhi. In fifth position, Vandana International School, New Delhi. And in fourth position, JM International School from West Delhi. Well done, all of you, and you are not going to go home empty-handed. You all win yourselves an e-certificate and a shield for your school. So that's a great prize. Remember, the three other three have qualified, and they're going to move forward to the contest into the North Zone Finals. So there are lots more prizes for them to win. In third place, we have Modern DPS 87, Chinmay and Arnav is in, are in third place. Congratulations, Chinmay and Arnav. In second place, we have DPS International, Arzvik and Kritika have made it to second place out here. Great performance there. But our winners today, and they had an absolutely sensational round right at the end as well. It's Pratap International School. Archit and Vibhor have won this round. 
and so modern DPS 87 DPS International the top public school make it through to the north zone final where there's plenty of other competition waiting for them so that was one fascinating north zone delta semi final next time we'll be back again on the indianica quiz league with another exciting north zone round coming up for you all the best next time <laughs>